Hey guys, so my name is Candace, and I originally had the intention when I did these videos to do them completely unedited raw footage, but I did think that it was so important. By the way, I want to let you know I'm a mom just like you, so you can see that I have come to you in my best format here with wet hair. But I wanted to let you know that um, you can see in these videos that I ask the student several times, are you familiar with this? Um, what do you know about this topic here? And it dawned on me that we have started in week six division. And had we have started in week one together and worked all the way through the curriculum up to that point, there were several things that he would have been familiar with but wasn't because we started six weeks into it. So I wanted to give you a sneak peek of how the curriculum builds up to that point so that um, you're not looking at it going, oh my goodness, because had he have started at week one and worked up to week six, um, it also may have looked a little different and it would have gone much faster for him to do that one worksheet. So let me give you a little sneak peek into that. Okay, so I'm interrupting this lesson to bring you um, some background. Obviously, I got to thinking that, you know what? The authors, Lee Wartons and Christy Gilpin, are much smarter than I am. And so I wanted to go back into the curriculum a few weeks and just take a peek at what it had to offer. And as I suspected, they have built in levels of scaffolding in the previous weeks that build up to the lesson that Isaac and I are working on. So let's zoom in right here. Let's just look at this chart. If you'll notice, this is exactly what Isaac is working on, but it is completely filled out for him and he is just copying it here. So this is in week two of the complex curriculum and that week is number notations. And so in number notation on week two, they have provided scaffolding so that he is learning this as he goes. He is learning what the numerals are, the words, the basic, exactly what we've just done. So that would not be unfamiliar to him any longer because he's already done it in week two, three weeks earlier or four. I can't remember at this point. Um, then I looked further into the curriculum at week three. This is the comparison week, also shown right here. And you'll see that chart again. And it is on worksheet four, just like we're working on. And here, still plenty of scaffolding, but they've removed just a little bit of the information. So now the student is having to fill that out on their own. Okay, then I'm going to go even further into the curriculum to week four. This is addition and subtraction, the addition and subtraction week. And um, you'll see that again, you have the same chart also on worksheet four, and they've removed some different parts of the chart that this student is now going to have to fill out. And so by the time you get to the division on week six that we are working on here in this video, this chart has become really familiar. Here is week five, which is the multiplication booklet also on page four, worksheet four, and you see the place value expansion chart again with a little bit less information that's completed for the student. They have to do more on their own. And then finally, what Isaac and I are working on all the way up to the division in week six, where you have essentially a blank place value is expansion chart that the student is required to fill out on their own. So that's six weeks of work in just this area that has been scaffolded for them prior to this point. So you wouldn't have to reference the solutions like we did. I also want to look right here where we were looking at the scale to limits and he was like, this is unfamiliar to me. Um, and I said, you know, we can learn this in the naturals curriculum and you can, you can, but you can also learn it in these booklets right here in the prior weeks. Again, this is week three in the comparison book, read aloud to complete the pattern for limits. And it tells you exactly how to read this. The limit of nine as X approaches nine is nine. And it does it again, 
several examples with lots of scaffolding to really equip the student. Week four, again, worksheet page four, and it's again, doing the same thing, read, add the limits, and it gives you the examples with what to do. So that by the time you're hitting weeks five and multiplication, you should know how to read these now because you've had multiple weeks leading up to that with plenty of practice. And again, here in week six, also in worksheet page four again. So you can really see how well this curriculum is laid out and how what seemed unfamiliar in this um, page that we're doing together would no longer be familiar because he has gotten that information um, in different ways in weeks prior to this point. I have here a student who's 11 years old. So he's going to be entering into challenge A next year, so in the fall. And we are going to be working on a worksheet out of the math map complex and we are going to be doing the division book which is week six in 1d so one dimension this is worksheet number four and we're going to start right here at the top so isaac what i want you to do is start by reading the directions for me sketch the vector good sketch the vector so do you recognize anything right here what, what looks familiar to you the one third times six okay what is one third times six Two. Two. Very good. All right. Sketch the vector. So let's look at the number line here. What does it look like is on the number line? Um, I see numbers and I see this half arrow. Oh, a half arrow. Very good. Okay. It told us in the instructions to sketch the vector. So on the number line, the half arrow is drawn in. So what do you suppose that might be? Um, it's not drawn in on the other number yeah. lines, and it's telling us it wants us to draw something. So what do you think that might be called? Um, oh, shoot. Maybe a vector? Yes. Yeah, so this is a vector, very good, okay? So let's look at this right here. What is this? One third times negative six equals negative two. Okay, so if this, one third times six equals two. If that vector is sketched like this, how do you think negative two would be sketched as a vector? Number two. Uh-huh, right here. How would you sketch negative two on this number line? I would do the same thing, but flip it the other way. So okay, going towards me. can you try that? Can you draw that for me? Good, that's perfect, Isaac. Is this something that you've ever done before? No. No, okay, good. So you're not familiar with vectors. No. Good, he did that perfectly. So that is exactly correct. And what about this? Can you read this for me? Negative three times six equals negative two also. Okay, good. Or times six, sorry. Good, so negative one third times six equals negative two. How do you think you would sketch that vector? I think it'd be the same thing as this one up here. Okay, so um, even though the fraction is negative, you, do you think it would be the same even though it's changed? I think so because this is negative three and this is one third, but we're just switching where the negatives are in the first two numbers. Okay, okay, so let's go ahead and sketch it. And then what we're going to do, because you're not familiar with vectors and I am not familiar with vectors, I want you to sketch it and we'll check out our solutions and see if that's correct. Because the good thing is that we're provided the solution so we can check and see. And if it's not correct, we can get further clarification afterwards. Okay, so I'm going to look at our solutions page. So we've got it right here. And here's the page that we're working on. And here's the problem. So this is sketched, you're, you're right right here. Mm -hmm. It's got this, but then it also has a vector that's a dotted line up to positive two. So could you draw that in for me? 
And we would have to do some further research on that if we were working on this together at home to clarify why that's the answer, okay? Good, okay, now this next section, can you read this for me? Scale the limits. Okay, are you familiar with any of this? No. No, okay, so this parents is why it's really, really good to begin now working with your students on the math map naturals because these situations that you're not familiar with will show up in the math map naturals. Um, I know how to read these because, hold on just one second.